If we think of the popular music of today and compare it with that at the turn of the century, we must seek for some strong influence in the direction of, of greater delicacy and subtlety. And I think Cyril Scott and Debussy are two of the clues. The chords that are used in jazz and swing today are the chords that are the most generally used in Cyril Scott and Debussy. And if we want one single influence that turned music away from the noisiness of the late 19th century to the delicacy of 20th century music, I think it is to be sought in Debussy's admiration for the Javanese gong orchestras that he heard in Paris in 1888. You can hear very beautiful examples of that music in a volume of records called Music of the Orient, edited by Dr. von Hornbostel. I think it's put out by Decker. In, there, in that uh, album, of course, you will hear the music on the instruments it was conceived for. Uh, Debussy's task was how to translate it into our own types of instruments. And the piece I want to play you now is not an exact transcription of what he heard from the Javanese orchestras in 1888. Some of the passages in it are European chords with some Oriental influence. But most of the passages are truly transcriptions of Oriental music. And the most important innovation is that just as Orientals, on the whole, are unwilling to kill animal and insect life when they meet it, just gently laying it aside, so also they are unwilling to kill tones that have been brought into life. The tones in the Javanese gong orchestras are never damped. They sing on. And it makes less of a problem in their music than in ours because the intervals of the scale are so arranged that they are all harmonious one with another. The piece I'm about to play is called Pagodas by Debussy.